Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to talk about Dad It Yourself on Dad It Yourself. Hey, different kind of video today. Uh, no project for you. Um, we're actually going to talk about the channel, what 2019 was like, and what 2020 has to uh, offer. Uh, this was supposed to be my first video of the year, but I had to push out the video for the uh, thickness planer as the first video of the year and that really came to be because of what happened around Christmas uh, with family coming in and then I got sick for over a week and then right after New Year's I actually had surgery on my nose and that took me out for almost two weeks As you can see I, I'm growing a beard here uh, for a Navy guy this uh, isn't a normal thing but uh, back to work next week um, so like I said I had to push that video out as the first video of the year just to give me some time uh, unfortunately I worked through all my backlog over the holidays and I ran out of videos and content so uh, many of you asked hey why wasn't there a video last week and that's really why so this video is going to fill this week and I've actually filmed three more segments over the last five or six days or so so I've got videos that will last me well into February now Okay, the first thing I wanted to talk about is 2019. I started this channel in April after spending a, a majority of my deployment to the Middle East watching YouTube and I said to myself, hey, I could do that and I think I've got some skills that some people may want to see. So I got home from deployment and started the channel. Here I am seven and a half months later, 536 subscribers, 32,000 views on my channel and about 2,200 hours of watch time. That's a long way and, and the goal is really is that thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time that YouTube puts on us before we can monetize video and really start getting the support from YouTube. So I really appreciate the support I've gotten on my channel and I would hope that if you're watching my videos and you've watched more than one or two that you subscribe to the channel I'd really appreciate it. When I first started the channel I was producing two videos a week and that went on for about five months. Uh, that became unsustainable as the weather changed from spring to summer to fall. Uh, up here in Whidbey Island, Washington, it's a little harder to get outside. It rains a lot more. So I was having problems actually getting enough content. So I switched to one video a week, which was on Fridays. And that worked out really well. Uh, the last couple of weeks, I've actually been producing videos Friday night and into Saturday morning. And I've actually seen an uptick in viewership on those videos. I don't know if it's because my channel is getting more popular or what it is, but I'd be interested to know. If you want to put that down in the comments, if you wanted me to stay on Fridays or uh, it's easier for you on Saturdays or you don't think it matters, let me know. So my channel focuses on six broad areas, those things that a dad and a homeowner would have to deal with when making purchases, supporting their family, or providing a home. Those things are yard and landscape work, auto care, my hobby woodworking, shop projects on this shop, uh, tool reviews, and then home DIY repairs, electrical, plumbing, and light carpentry. And of course I'm going to do more lawn work videos. It's hard to believe in eight weeks I'm going to be dethatching, fertilizing, and mowing this lawn. So by far, my tool videos are my most popular videos on average. A lot of people ask me, hey Scott, are you sponsored by Ryobi? No, I'm not sponsored by Ryobi. And it just ended up happening when I moved into this house. The 14 volt Craftsman drill that I had uh, burnt out when I was building the shelving behind me and I needed to replace it. So I decided I needed a new drill driver with an impact. I went to the local Home Depot and based on price point and availability, the Ryobi was the one that was the most attractive to me. I ended up buying Ryobi and the rest is history. I believe, you know, buy into a line, stick with a battery, and you're good there. The tool doesn't make you better. It's your skills. It's just how you use that tool. I mean, hell, if DeWalt would have been on sale that day, all this would be yellow. So here's my shop. It is 
oh, I would say about 10 and a half feet wide and about 20 feet deep. It is the single car section of my three car garage. Like I said out here, here's the, the two car. My wife actually wants to park out here in this area where all the Christmas stuff still is. It's the nightstand. I already saw that video or there's going to be a video on that and it's not much uh, like I said single car garage I've got my French cleat wall over here I have storage here and then here's the wall I just built what a couple weeks ago and there'll be a link right up here for all the shop projects and stuff so what do I have to do uh, more French cleat here and I have to build rolling carts for all this stuff here and here. And then as you can see, I'm working off two folding tables and have been since video number two when I tore my shop apart to get ready for all of this. So those are some of the things you'll see in 2020 as I prepare my shop. People ask me what I do for a living. Well, I've served in the United States Navy for the last 21 years and I'm retiring in May. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, being in the military is a young man's game now. I didn't join till I was 31 years old, so I'm into my 50s now and I'm ready to look at the next chapter of my life. I really enjoy having a beard. So a lot of people ask what kind of equipment I use to record my videos. Well, the first 40 or so videos was with this camera right here on my Galaxy S7 and a tripod uh, about 10 videos, 15 videos ago, I switched to a Canon T5i. It's a picture of it right there. Uh, big difference, picked it up on eBay for about $400 and has made the world a difference in the quality of my videos and I'm really happy with it. Uh, I do all my editing with PowerDirector 365. The annual subscription used to be PowerDirector 18. I really like it, easy to use, a lot of videos on uh, YouTube as tutorials to help me get through things and I'm still learning how to use it and I try to learn something new every video. So I got my contractor's license in October and now I'm a licensed general contractor in the state of Washington. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that when I retire but it's something I really enjoy doing helping out friends and family and uh, meeting new people in my community. There's definitely a need for good reliable contractors in my part of the country. Uh, a lot of the projects you've seen me do, the gutter repair video, the red door video, uh, those were all customer projects uh, and I really appreciate them giving me the opportunity to film at their homes while I was working there. Uh, amazingly, those videos haven't done as good or as well as I wanted them to do. Uh, that was the original focus of my channel, was a DIY channel. Um, so I'm considering moving the home repair videos over to the channel that just focuses on my handyman business, which is SDO Handyman Services. If you want to look it up on the internet, I'll have a link down in the description. Um, let me know in the comments if you think uh, you want to see that, if you'd support another channel, or if you want me to keep doing those here. Uh, I did get some comments from a couple of viewers saying that I need to go into a little bit more detail when I'm doing some of those home renovation projects, uh, why I do things, identifying colors of wires, spacing of studs, and such like that. And I'll really try to do that more. Hey, if you're interested in getting a sticker on my wall, reach out to me on Instagram at dataityourselfdiy. I have a link on there where you can email me or uh, message me or even actually just drop a sticker in an envelope and mail it to me. My address is there. I'd love to have your sticker on your wall and I'd love to send you one of mine. Hey, I just wanted to say again, thanks for watching my channel. I really appreciate everybody who's subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, if you have any questions or comments about what I do on my channel, put them down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos and playlists right here you may be interested in. The subscribe button's right there. And thanks for watching Dad It Yourself in 2020.